Hey there, I'm Noel Walker, and today I am with Miss Anne Marie Goss, who's nine years old. Uh, you can find information from Miss Anne Marie at annemariesanimals.com, and she is teaching us about forestry. Polycellulose is a wood pulp mill. Hi, I'm with Mr. Eddie Brown, and he worked at a lumber mill in Perry. So I know they put the, they cut the trees down and put them on a truck and they hold them there, but what do they do next? Okay, when they cut the trees and hold them in the mill, they weigh them in, see how much the trees weigh. Then they carry them to the wood yard and they have, there's a big old portable crane around there on the track. Okay. And it'll pick up a whole log, a whole log truck full of logs at one time and set them off that trailer. Well, then those logs are, then they send from there, those logs go through a, a saw that cuts the logs up in different lengths. Okay. And uh, so from there, they, they go into a barking drum and the, a barking drum, it beats all the bark off the, it beats all the bark off the trees. All right, well then the, the trees that the, the trees that the bark's been beat off of, they go through a chipper and make chips. No, not potato chips. Not chocolate chips. Wood chips. These are wood chips. After they make the chips, the chips go to a, another part of the mill that's called digesting. And they have digesters over there. And they cook the chips in the digesters that makes that starts making pulp. Okay. Well, they go from there to the bleach plant and then they bleach it and it starts turning into more pulp. And it goes across drums that, that actually makes pulp. And whenever it leaves the bleach plant, it goes to pulp drying. And pulp drying has 64 drums, I believe, steam drums. And they have when the pup comes in, it comes in on the thing they call the forward near. Well, as it comes, it comes on that forward near. It's kind of a like a screen, shaker screen. It starts shaking, getting all the water out of the pup. Well, when it comes off the end of the forward near, they your drums have a rope all the way wound around them from one end to the other. So you take a start a tail off of that pup. And it starts going over them dryer drums. No, not a drum set. Not a chicken leg. Not a drumstick. I said not a drumstick. This chap a drum. And then when it comes off the other end, it's, like it's making paper. So there's a reel down there that turns this way so you feed the tail into that reel and it winds that it makes a big old roll of paper yeah. and then they got a uh, they got a ball a teflon ball on a stick that they'll stick in there and they'll break that tail when the roll gets to a certain height and it, and it breaks and it just starts another roll so it's a continuous just a continuous thing and the pulp that or the paper that they make is actually not paper it's a dissolving pulp so they'll sell the mill will sell the pulp to somebody else and they'll make they'll they'll dissolve the pulp they'll make stuff like they make pampers they make toilet paper they make tires they make money they make screwdriver handles just all kinds of stuff this, that gets made with that pulp. Thank you, Mr. Eddie. So, wait, how long did you work there, and what did you do there? I worked out there 42 years, <laughs> and I worked on the power side of the plant. The first 20 years, I was I was a welder, and I welded. And I kept the, I welded in the boiler, and welded pipe, and just stuff to keep the powerhouse going, and then. The last 22 years, I was an inspection coordinator and a maintenance coordinator. So I was pretty much 
over, uh, not not completely over. I had a manager, but I did all the plans on uh, or a five-year plan on what repairs they were going to make in the boilers and what piping we need to replace and, and so forth. And then on the maintenance team, I, uh, I, I had a maintenance team and I had to give them work orders every morning on what work they needed to do. And that's how I wound up my 22, last 22 years. Wait, I've been through Perry like a lot. And is the meal that's still so bad? Well, you know what that meal smells like? Hmm. It smells like money. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Amory Goss again. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to give a big thumbs up, like this video, and hit subscribe on your way out. Thank you.